How's it going guys? Again, I've ordered a bunch of stuff, so this video will mark my mark the end of my relationship with uh, AMD because I've had enough with their awful hardware and their awful drivers. Um, I've been using an uh, AMD A6 um, 3500 APU, but especially with uh, the release of Windows 10 things seems to be awful. Um, the pages in my browser load so slow that it, it makes me pull out my hair so um, the only thing that I haven't done this earlier is that I was holding off for a worthy alternative on the Intel side and uh, with the release of Skylake it seems to be the one I was looking for. Um, those CPUs are super fast, um, super low on uh, the power consumption side and uh, also there's uh, some very fancy features like um, M2 with the NVMe support and also USB-C with Thunderbolt. So it's pretty cool. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. So here's the case from which I have already removed the sign. I'll keep three parts basically the CPU cooler, the power supply, and the two SSDs. Um, this uh, CPU cooler is a really interesting part. Um, this is a no fan ice pipe um, CR80EH. Um, as you can see, it's totally formless. So um, I'll try to move a little bit closer. So that you can see, right? There's simply no fans. It's it's an awesome cool. It's uh, certified for up to 80 watt, and uh, it works well. There's also a Seasonic Platinum 400 watt fanless power supply, and uh, the SSDs are obviously also without moving parts. Um, now the computer is running in idle. I'll open task manager. There you go. No load at all. And now check out the power consumption. 30, 26, 28. So that's there is to it. Now let's put this computer to the test. Uh, I'll use Prime 95. Alright, the test has started. CPU load should skyrocket. Yep, it's at 100%. Let's see, 76, 77, 75, 78. Yeah, 80. Safe to say it won't go much higher. And now it's time to replace this piece of shit. I've been waiting for the CPU for quite a while. It has arrived just now. There you are. It's an Intel i7 Skylake 6700T, which is a very interesting piece because it's basically a high-end i7 but but it only has a 35 watt TDP rating so it's pretty cool especially if you're aiming for a fanless computer oh man there you are yeah nothing fancy just the CPU and, and the box. There's also some memory, 16 gigabytes of Kingston Fury DDR4. Ah, some pretty basic stuff. CL14 should be good for now. And there's the mobile. It's an Asus H170M Plus. Um, there was a two requirements 
Uh, one thing is that it should have a USB-C, at least one. So this, this board has exactly one USB-C port. Let's move a little closer. Yeah. And also I wanted to use M2 because the, those SSDs are insanely speedy. So let's close this beast. Out the ports, basic stuff, it should do the job well. There's the USB C, and there's the M2 slot. Pretty cool. So now let's replace the mobile, the CPU, and the memory real quick. So at this point the computer is assembled. One last thing we need to do is check out power consumption. Now the computer is running idle. Let's see how power consumption goes. It's 20. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, really not uh, an enormous improvement compared to the 26 with the AMD. Now let's do some stress testing. Sixty-nine. How cool is that? <laughs> now it uh, decreased a bit, but uh, so did CPU load. So it's not at one hundred percent. Maybe it's because uh, boost. Yeah, sixty-one. So it's uh, somewhere, somewhere around uh, 60. So at this point you may be wondering, was this worth all the hassle? Like 6 watts decrease in idle and uh, 20 watts decrease in under load. Uh, well, in fact it totally was, because uh, the Intel does this while also being 5 times faster CPU-wise and uh, twice as fast GPU-wise, at least according to Pascal. So, um, at this point I really don't have to wait for anything to load when using my PC, so I just love it. It's, it's, it's incomparable to the old AMD one. But uh, anyway, I will, I will uh, keep you updated with uh, how things go with this new one. I hope for the best. Anyway, um, that's it for today. Take care guys. Bye bye.